usage here for sure. I'm looking around, I see dorms, I see apartments. You know, Cleveland State obviously is, is right there and you've got events, you've got sporting events. Uh, there's museums, there's churches, there's businesses. I, I think it's just usage, honestly, guys. I'm here on the Euclid Corridor now. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm doing here. So if you guys have ever seen the cityscape for Cleveland State, this is kind of what it looks like. All right, so 300 down, 37 up. It's what I think is happening uh, and, and what could be in play. It could be one, some, or all of the things I mentioned. But uh, yeah, that <laughs> got some buildings maybe causing this performance drop off. I don't know, man. I'm gonna go see if I can find that millimeter wave node for AT&T. Test that for you guys here too. Yep, so here's my old stomping grounds, man. My alma mater, Cleveland State. If I remember correctly, that's the science science building. And this is a one-way street. I remember always looking for parking over here. <laughs> uh, what else here? Yep, there's a millimeter wave node, guys, right there for AT and T. Let's see if we pick it up. That's new. That wasn't there when I was in school. Got to remember, guys. I was in. Cleveland State like <laughs> like 14 years ago man. Oh, man good old days shout out to the University Center shout out to CSU now I'm kind of driving towards like um, the performing arts location there there's another small cell but I don't know who, who it is up there um, 93 down and I'm definitely not connecting to the millimeter wave node AT&T definitely has a lot of nodes out here. Here's the, the law building for Cleveland State. All right. And here's, there's another node for, t another millimeter wave node. That one's for AT&T. That one's for Verizon. I'm not, I don't think I'm connecting to it. Honestly, 300 down for a millimeter wave node. Come on, man. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flash airplane mode. Maybe we got to kind of do that. off the airplane mode. Cool, we could test Project Genesis, boost, whatever, on AT&T access on the millimeter waves. Come on. And there's the soccer stadium right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, right over there, right there. Can we get some node action? Come on. I don't think so. I think we're connected to the C-band. Signal check pro. Yeah, C band and DOD. Nope, not connecting to the node. 275 down, 40 up. Yep, we're, we're clinging on to that macro cell for sure. I think you'd connect to the millimeter wave nodes. This phone definitely has millimeter wave enabled. There's a lot of construction out here. T-Mobile's got a millimeter wave node on right over there. You guys want to see? Uh, you guys want to see uh, an, a dinosaur, a relic? Oh, there's another AT&T node over there. You guys want to see millimeter wave for T-Mobile? You've probably never seen this before. Right there, that little node. So you've got the bigger antenna on the left. It has like all the sub. Um, 2.1 gigahertz and lower. You get your N41 in the middle and then your millimeter wave one to the right. Um, I'm not connecting to that node. Right there. Right, right there. Literally in the path of it. And we're not able to connect to it. Yeah, and I can't I can't fault the network because I don't really have the right SIM card to test it and network access to test it. It's unfortunate. 55 down, 23 up. You guys want to get a good look at it right there? So they do two nodes running down the direction of the street, and that's all the LT and probably radios for like the N2 and such. Yeah, we are not connecting to the node. Connecting to the macro. 
Verizon's got nodes all over here too. They've got more actually. They got millimeter wave all over the place. C RAN. Nice job by AT&T having the C RAN. I guess when needed, you'll connect to it. Oh, here's another one for AT&T. <laughs> I've never seen this much AT&T millimeter wave before. So they did a nice job of building it. Give you guys that view. But we definitely ain't connecting to it. What the hell? And I don't know how to force it, honestly, without my Galaxy. I'm trying to force airplane mode to connect to it. Come on. <sighs> the frustrations. Maybe we're connecting to it now. <laughs> Man, that is finicky. Uh, yeah, now we're connecting to it. You see all these 100 megahertz blocks? That's uh, N260. Mm -hmm. They're doing 15 megahertz of PCS. 1.1 gigs down, 52 up. That's the first one we connected to, even though we drove by like 17 of them. It's so interesting that we finally got on a node. Um, they definitely could use them. It looks like there's a lot of usage. I don't know if we're connected anymore. Maybe. Uh, this is an overpass here. Or not an overpass, a bridge. Uh, that bridge is over at different classrooms and buildings. Uh, there should be another node over here. I wonder if we're still connected to it or if we went over to N77. Yep, now we're on N77. One of them, not both of them. We're on the C band. 890 down, 25 up. Mm. Interesting. Hope somebody's driving down the wrong way. Golly. <laughs> A lot of that happens around here. <laughs> Oh, uh, geez. Is that another small cell? Yep, there's another one. Uh, this one is on Prospect. We're actually going towards the stadium. So that's the Cleveland State uh, Wolstein Center. Um, right there, and there's another 18 t millimeter wave node. Let's see if we connect to it. Nope, we're, still, we're on the macro, maybe? Where I graduated, the Wallstein Center, baby. <laughs> uh, let's see what we are connected to. N77. Nope, we got the millimeter wave node. Okay. Let's retest it. Let's start from scratch. Do do. Yeah, it's nothing like the Verizon millimeter wave node, guys. Those, those are fast. These Nokia millimeter waves. There's another millimeter wave for AT&T right there. So you guys kind of got to see a, a pretty nice build, dense build for AT&T. But it's not really parlaying into massive capacity. Um, obviously, there's the potential for it. But uh, I mean, we weren't really connecting to it. At least not obvious to me. Uh, let's get on the freeway from here. 643 down, 51 up. All right, we'll jump on 77 south. Showing 5G plus. In Project Genesis, not AT&T branded. Um, do you think it's the, the density probably playing games with the connection? Um, I don't know, man. There could be a lot of different reasons for, for what we saw. All right, we're connecting to the C-band now. And 77. Hmm. All right, drop me a comment, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We found some millimeter wave. We found some C-band and Ericsson from Nokia conversion. Testing on the Pixel 7 Pro, kind of an oldie. Not really on the, the real AT&T access, but something uh, good enough. Some good sector performance, some not so great. Uh, and when we, we're not really sure why, this is pretty good. 700 down, 45 out. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you guys on the next one.
Peace. SMT Nation, it is time for me to introduce to you Aura. Give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe. Keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period. Obviously, the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24-7 expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money-back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being 1 in 4, this would change everything. Really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL. It's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.